Learning English creates a window of opportunities. Then listen and practice. Proud Red Rose. Improve your English. One beautiful spring day, a red rose blossomed in a forest. As the rose looked around, a pine tree nearby said, What a beautiful flower! I wish I was that lovely. Another tree said, Dear pine, do not be sad. We cannot have everything. The rose turned and remarked, It seems that I'm the most beautiful flower in this forest. A sunflower raised its yellow head and asked, Why do you say that? In this forest, there are many beautiful flowers. You are just one of them. The red rose replied, I see everyone looking at me and admiring me. Then the rose looked at the cactus and said, Look at that ugly plant full of thorns. The pine tree said, Red rose, what kind of talk is this? Who can say what beauty is? You have thorns too. The proud red rose looked angrily at the pine and said, I thought you had good taste. You do not know what beauty is at all. You cannot compare my thorns to that of the cactus. What a proud flower, thought the trees. The rose tried to move its roots away from the cactus, but it could not move. As the days passed, the red rose would look at the cactus and say insulting things like, This plant is useless. How sorry I am to be his neighbor. The spring passed, and the weather became very warm. Life became difficult in the forest, and there was no rain. The red rose began to wilt. One day, the rose saw sparrows stick their beaks into the cactus and then fly away refreshed. This was puzzling, and the red rose asked the pine tree what the birds were doing. The pine tree explained that the birds were getting water from the cactus. Does it not hurt when they make holes? asked the rose. Yes, but the cactus does not like to see the birds suffer, replied the pine. The rose opened its eyes in wonder and exclaimed, The cactus has water? Yes, you can also drink from it. The sparrows can bring water to you if you ask the cactus for help. The red rose felt too ashamed to ask for water from the cactus, but finally it did ask for help. The cactus kindly agreed. The birds filled their beaks with water and watered the rose's roots. Thus, the rose learned a lesson and never judged anyone by their appearance again. Repeat after me. Speaking fluently creates more opportunities. One beautiful spring day, a red rose blossomed in a forest. One beautiful spring day, 
a red rose blossomed in a forest. One beautiful spring day, a red rose blossomed in a forest. As the rose looked around, a pine tree nearby said, What a beautiful flower! As the red rose looked around, a pine tree nearby said, What a beautiful flower! As the red rose looked around, a pine tree nearby said, What a beautiful flower! I wish I was that lovely. I wish I was that lovely. I wish I was that lovely. Another tree said, Dear Pine, do not be sad. We cannot have everything. Another tree said, Dear Pine, do not be sad. We cannot have everything. Another tree said, Dear Pine, do not be sad. We cannot have everything. The rose turned and remarked, The rose turned and remarked, the rose turned and remarked, It seems that I am the most beautiful flower in this forest. It seems that I am the most beautiful flower in this forest. It seems that I am the most beautiful flower in this forest. A sunflower raised its yellow head and asked, Why do you say that? A sunflower raised its yellow head and asked, Why do you say that? A sunflower raised its yellow head and asked, Why do you say that? In this forest, there are many beautiful flowers. In this forest, there are many beautiful flowers. In this forest, there are many beautiful flowers. You are just one of them. You are just one of them. You are just one of them. The red rose replied. The red rose replied. The red rose replied. I see everyone looking at me and admiring me. I see everyone looking at me and admiring me. I see everyone looking at me and admiring me. Then the rose looked at the cactus and said, Then the rose looked at the cactus and said, Then the rose looked at the cactus and said, Look at that ugly plant full of thorns. Look at that ugly plant full of thorns. Look at that ugly plant full of thorns. 
The pine tree said, Red rose. The pine tree said, Red rose. The pine tree said, Red rose. What kind of talk is this? Who can say what beauty is? What kind of talk is this? Who can say what beauty is? What kind of talk is this? Who can say what beauty is? You have thorns too. You have thorns too. You have thorns too. The proud red rose looked angrily at the pine and said, The proud red rose looked angrily at the pine and said, The proud red rose looked angrily at the pine and said, I thought you had good taste. I thought you had good taste. I thought you had good taste. You do not know what beauty is at all. You do not know what beauty is at all. You do not know what beauty is at all. You cannot compare my thorns to that of the cactus. You cannot compare my thorns to that of the cactus. You cannot compare my thorns to that of the cactus. What a proud flower, thought the trees. What a proud flower, thought the trees. What a proud flower, thought the trees. The rose tried to move its roots away from the cactus, but it could not move. The rose tried to move its roots away from the cactus, but it could not move. The rose tried to move its roots away from the cactus, but it could not move. As the days passed, the red rose would look at the cactus and say insulting things like, As the days passed, the red rose would look at the cactus and say insulting things like As the days passed, the red rose would look at the cactus and say insulting things like This plant is useless. How sorry I am to be his neighbor. This plant is useless. How sorry I am to be his neighbor. This plant is useless. How sorry I am to be his neighbor. The spring passed and the weather became very warm. The spring passed and the weather became very warm. The spring passed and the weather became very warm. Life became difficult in the forest as there was no rain. Life became difficult in the forest as there was no rain. 
life became difficult in the forest as there was no rain. The red rose began to wilt. The red rose began to wilt. The red rose began to wilt. One day, the rose saw sparrows stick their beaks into the cactus and then fly away refreshed. One day, the rose saw sparrows stick their beaks into the cactus and then fly away refreshed. One day, the rose saw sparrows stick their beaks into the cactus and then fly away refreshed. This was puzzling, and the red rose asked the pine tree what the birds were doing. This was puzzling, and the red rose asked the pine tree what the birds were doing. This was puzzling, and the red rose asked the pine tree what the birds were doing. The pine tree explained that the birds were getting water from the cactus. The pine tree explained that the birds were getting water from the cactus. The pine tree explained that the birds were getting water from the cactus. Does it not hurt when they make holes? asked the rose. Does it not hurt when they make holes? asked the rose. Does it not hurt when they make holes? asked the rose. Yes, but the cactus does not like to see the birds suffer, replied the pine. Yes, but the cactus does not like to see the birds suffer, replied the pine. Yes, but the cactus does not like to see the birds suffer, replied the pine. The rose opened its eyes in wonder and exclaimed. The rose opened its eyes in wonder and exclaimed. The rose opened its eyes in wonder and exclaimed. The cactus has water? The cactus has water? The cactus has water? Yes, you can also drink from it. Yes, you can also drink from it. Yes, you can also drink from it. The sparrows can bring water to you if you ask the cactus for help. The sparrow can bring water to you if you ask the cactus for help. The sparrow can bring water to you if you ask the cactus for help. The red rose felt too ashamed to ask for the water from the cactus. The red rose felt too ashamed to ask for water from the cactus. 
The red rose felt too ashamed to ask for water from the cactus. But finally, it did ask for help. But finally, it did ask for help. But finally, it did ask for help. The cactus kindly agreed. The cactus kindly agreed. The cactus kindly agreed. The birds filled their beaks with water and watered the rose's roots. The birds filled their beaks with water and watered the rose's roots. The birds filled their beaks with water and watered the rose's roots. Thus, the rose learned a lesson and never judged anyone by their appearance again. Thus, the rose learned a lesson and never judged anyone by their appearance again. Thus, the rose learned a lesson and never judged anyone by their appearance again.